There might be people in the Democratic Party like uh, AOC that I actually like. And yeah, I'll say that. People hate that. Like, you're a Republican and you like AOC? Yeah, you know why? Because her con- she actually tries to work for her constituents. Yeah. Like, like, holy shit, is that like a revolutionary friggin' thing now? That the people that we put over there actually do their fucking job? Well, yeah, it is. So that's why AOC is actually interesting, because there was trouble in New York. She was there. She went right to her people, like, almost immediately. Hey, what's up, Miss uh, Misogyny Mommy? You're new. I saw you just followed us, so what's up? How are you? Good to see you. Welcome. We're welcoming here. Hi, Dissection Girl. What's up? Anybody that would like to put something in our till, God bless you. We really need it. Food. It's EBT, Bidenomic inflation. That's what I'm going to call it from now on. That's it. The Bidenomics inflation has absolutely impacted our lives in every possible freaking way. So if you can put any money in the till, we love you. If you can't, you can, and it's fine. We we love you either way. It doesn't matter. Pray for us if you can't. There's a watermelon. I think she wants to be on camera. AOC is, is nifty. You like her? What's up, Hypers VV? I don't think I've seen you before. What's up? Hi, Snackery. I Look, if you're a senator or a congressperson that when you hear something happens in your district and you're there, I'm like, I'm for you. Like, that's awesome. How could you be against AOC when you know she did something like that? I don't care. Like, that's cool. Uh, would I agree with her on policy? I don't know. To be honest with you, I've changed so dramatically. I'm not a capitalist anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm a believer in Marxism, like global communism. I believe in that. It could work. But you always get a sack of shit at the top of the system when it's humans. So it's never going to work, humans. The kingdom economy is mostly communist. If you need something, you're going to get it from Jesus. That's how the kingdom's going to work. And people like me and Shani will be going out to the nations that are outside the city. And if you're in there with us, cool. But I'm just saying, outside the, outside the city... Uh, we're going to go to you and give you, like, weed leaves and stuff to heal you. That's pretty cool, right? What's up, Pella Nervous? You don't like AOC? That's fine. You know, you think she's silly? That's fine, too. I don't know enough about her pol where she stands policy-wise. I haven't, I haven't watched her in debate or nothing. I just think it's really cool that she would actually go to her constituents, like, when they're in trouble. I'm so excited. Just got my stuff done to finally finish nursing school. That's awesome, Krista. You're going to be a nurse? That's awesome. You probably, I hope you get paid good because they're going to work the shit out of you. You know what I mean? At these hospitals, the hospital that I took Shani to not too long ago and the one that I went to a little while back when I was working with the, the oh, you're going to get, you know, check for COVID, that same hospital. Um... There was nobody working, man. There was like four people. So they, they barely hire anyone. And the ones they hire, they literally work all day and night, every day and night. That's awesome, Kern. Congrats. I am. I'm, I work in healthcare already, but now I'm officially a, 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 you're a nurse finally. That's awesome, Kristen. That's great. Travel nurses make bank. Yeah, i seen listings for that on job sites and they make $45 an hour in some cases. Congrats and thanks for caring for these people, dude. Yeah, I'm on. Yeah, that's awesome, Krista. Good job. That's cool. So I, I got something to, to talk to you about. There's a channel on YouTube and it's called, uh, the She Got Away podcast. It's called The She Got Away podcast. If you put that in, it's going to come right up. She's a survivor since uh, up to the age of eight. 
her parents were in a satanic cult and her mother was a high satanic priestess and she went through uh, uh, satanic ritual abuse. She witnessed kids uh, taken into her house. My I have horrible dry mouth. Um, is that a Bruce Lee shirt? That's correct. Wow! That's right. I loved him since I was that high, like real short little dude, like Zachary's age when I met Zachary, which was like, he was what? Eight? Seven. He was seven. Yeah, about that long. Since my dad died. Yeah. I've been a fan of Bruce Lee. I, I had all of his movies on everything, and I just love them. But anyway, sorry. Um, the channel on YouTube is called the She Got Away Podcast, and I, she's survivor of S, uh, satanic ritual abuse. And she believes in God. She, she, you know, she went through the 12-step programs or whatever one you want to talk about, like AA, AAA, you know. <laughs> That's not high at all. You, you're a true. You're a fan of the. That's not high at all. You a true fan. The Lee Man rules. I I love him. I don't. That's not high at all. Okay. I don't know. I wish it was high. Yeah. Everybody. Everybody should be stoned. But anyway. Uh. She said she went through the twelve step programs and God, I can barely speak. This is the devil. I need to get a bottle of water or something. Okay, so... She went through the 12-step program, so she, put, she puts her faith in what she calls God. And that, to me, is fine. Uh, her parents used Catholicism. Where's Shani at? She's sitting down here. Uh, she used Catholicism uh, to, the, or sorry, the parents used Catholicism to cover their Satanism, right? To look good in the community, they said they were Catholics, blah, blah, blah. All right, I'm sorry, I'm getting my scripture out because there's something I'm going to show this girl. I'm going to tag her. Because she's on Instagram, too, and I'm not sure what her Instagram is. I'm sorry. I'll put that in, in the description of this video. So she puts her higher power, quote, unquote, she just calls it God. Because they used to put this girl in a cage and sacrifice children in front of her. So she prayed to God to be there with her and help her. And he was, he was there. And she just always has had that experience of asking for God to be there and he was there. But she has a problem with Jesus because, and other figures, like Catholic figures and stuff like this, because her mother would, would predatorily use that against her. Uh, it's characters like that, like Jesus, like she'd say like, you know, something like, oh, Jesus hates you today or some shit like that. That Did the parents go to jail? No, they didn't, Hella. No, they got away with, She. they did this up until apparently the age she was eight um, and stopped then, I guess. Um, but they died. They got away with everything and died. So now after she, after her parents died, I think that's when she decided to come out and talk about it because she don't, there are certain things she still won't talk about because she's afraid that she'll get murdered. So with that being said, I, I had, this is for her. Like what I'm about to do here is for her. She's got questions about Jesus. The first thing I would say to you um, is this, why do you think your parents use Jesus mainly to victimize you in this way. I think if you're smart, and I know you're smart because I hear you and I see your paintings, which are incredible. She's an artist and, and her paintings are insane, really amazing. Uh, they used him because he's the way. 
and they wanted to pollute your mind on it, and they did it. So what I'm going to do for you is not say, oh, you should believe in Jesus or whatever in, 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 in any... I'm going to give you a fact that's in the Bible, and you can check this. I got my scripture here, all right? Now, this is in the back of my Bible. There is a genealogy. You ready? There is a genealogy in... It sounds like there's a cat that's uh, stuck somewhere. No, there isn't, honey. Oh, what, what is he scratching on? I don't know. Okay. Um... There's a genealogy in Genesis chapter 5. And there's a hidden message in it if you take the names that are in that genealogy. It's ten names. It's Adam, Seth, Enosh, Canaan, Mahalalel, Yared, Jared, Enoch, Methuselah, and Noah. Those are the ten names that are in Genesis 5 genealogy. Noah brings the flood. Okay, so that's a cutoff of history, really. The, the deluge is a transition in, his, in the history of mankind. Okay, that's where it stops. I want you to, you're going to, I know visually you probably see things visually. Okay, the message is this. The first name, I'm just going to read the message. Man is appointed mortal sorrow... But the blessed God shall, shall come down, teaching that his death shall bring rest. I got chills. Every time I say that sentence, I get chills. This is not a verse in the Bible, guys, okay? This is the Genesis 5 genealogy, okay? Take those names the first 10 names in history, and it gives you the gospel of Jesus Christ. And who does this book tell you your Messiah is? Well, you're going to read about him right here. Okay? I'm telling you, please don't forsake this book. I know, I know your parents abused the ever-loving shit out of you. But the reason they did it was to keep you from Jesus Christ because he's the true way. Do you understand? Why, would, why, 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 why didn't they make Buddha like the most prominent? Why not make Muhammad the most prominent to demonize in your eyes? Why not make Moses the main one to demonize in your eyes? Jesus, because he is the way the truth, and the life, and he's the door. Now, I you're talking to a Christian here that is, I've been a Christian since 2004 when he saved me, so I know he's real. And I, I pray that he come to you in that kind of way if you need it, in a crisis way, because that will really change your life forever. It changed mine forever when he came to me and hugged me. He, he saved me from a schizophrenic, uh, uh, a schizoaffective psychosis moment that I had where I tried to commit suicide. And, and I went to a mental ward for, it was something like a week, I think. But my mom said I was only in there three days, but I'm not, I don't know how long I was in there, honestly. Um, but I got saved and my, my testimony on YouTube was viewed something like, I don't know, at the end, I think it was 35,000 views or something. I, and it was a two hour testimony video. So that's where I'm at. My name was Revelation News on YouTube. That's who I was. This is for, all for her. Um, she got away podcast girl. That's what I'm calling her. Sorry. She's, she calls herself something, but her name is something I can't remember right now. So Jesus was attacked in your life for a very serious reason, and it's because he's real. If that can't make you understand exact, there's one person in history that did exactly what that genealogy message said. There's one man in history that did that. There's no one else that even claims that stuff. 
But Jesus Christ came here, died like that, and he divided time. After death, before death. B B.C., before Christ, A.D., after death. Okay, they want to change that now, but it's before common era and the common era. What the fuck is the common era? What's the YouTube name again, Hella? It's it. She's called uh, She Got Away Podcast. She Got Away. Away podcast. And she's a survivor of rich, ritual satanic abuse, horrible shit. She saw her parents sacrifice people. My phone just crashed. There we go. Nimrod was around building the Tower of Babel during that time. And that's when Abraham comes in. Yeah, you're right about that. Jesus. Yeah, you guys hate this, don't you? I'm intrigued to what you have written on the other side of the pit. You want to see that? Okay. Yeah, I'll show that to you, Antonia. Yeah, my, sorry, my phone's starting to crash because it's a dog shit fucking pile of trash that was given to me by uh, Biden. So why should I expect anything different? I'll go back. Give me a second. I got to go back to that. The other pit, other side of the page? Uh, Yeah, check it out. We got... Book one, scripture, wow. Jesus is king of kings, and that's my signature. John 3, 16, Isaiah 53, 5. Old Testament, New Testament, messianic prophecy connection. Thousands of years apart, but foretells the Messiah, Messiah's mission and passion. Also look up the messianic Psalms, which are 20, 21, 22, and 23. Psalms. 20, 21, 22, 23. Those are Messianic Psalms about Jesus. Uh, two, number, numbers are very important in the Bible. Prophecies and fulfillment are usually accompanied by numerical significance. See the book of Daniel and Revelation for the most obvious example. The seven days of creation also show the quality to the scriptures. Uh, three, once one realizes the fullness of history is embodied in the Old and New Testaments, further study becomes an interest. Further study, such as theories behind the text and perhaps even extra-biblical sources. Many Christian researchers have utilized other texts to aid deeper study. However, the King James Bible is all that's really needed. Four, there's something supernatural about the number pi. It can be seen in scriptures as well. Five, the Genesis 5 genealogy message is ast astounding. The book of Metatron. This is the stuff that I was going to publish. And there's that. The amazing moment of scripture. And it is. This is the most amazing thing in the scripture, in my opinion. Aside from the numbers. Matthew 24, Luke 24, Mark 13, Olivet Discourse, Book of Daniel, Book of Revelation, Warning, Prophecy is for all, for adults. Prophecy is for adults. That's true. Uh, the, the, the sacred name movement uh, became a cult. Stay out. Uh, note 102220. Uh, AI can read your mind and show and show them to you in text chats. That's true. I read that and I was like, what? Like, AI is getting so good it can read your mind now. So there's all that stuff. I read you everything there is to read there. <laughs> On that page, anyway. But yeah, I was going to uh, actually publish that in a booklet. Like, you would get my handwriting. It. I was literally going to take pictures of the pages, and it would be like a fort. Because there's like, I've written... I don't know, 70 some pages maybe in there, like full pages of stuff. I was going to publish it, but th then these people just, it, I don't know if they did it for that reason. Like they jumped on our shoulders right at the same time. I'm saying I'm going to publish something like that. Yeah, they would do something like that. I don't know. I don't care anymore about those assholes. I, I don't give a fuck what they do in my life, honestly. I just want them to leave Everybody in my family alone, because we didn't do nothing to you folks, you know. Anyway, uh, 
you know I hate asking for money, man. I really do. I despise it. Um, but if you can put some money in our till, I'd really appreciate that. Just a little something so that we could, I could get Shani like like some some pasta salads or something, because we we do we need some foods. So if you can, I'm sorry, that's probably a hunger bird. Um, we love you guys, and I love you, and Jesus. I'm telling you, Jesus is so close. And if that can't, I'm sorry. If you can look at that, how the what the hell are the odds that the first ten names in history say this? It's the gospel in the first ten names of history. That's impossible. That is, there's zero possibility that that's a coincidence, guys. I used to talk to Tovia Singer, who's a rabbi teacher. Uh, who I'm sure is supporting the genocide right now. Toby Singer, I used to speak to him, and he used to say to me, look, if you can show me Yeshua in the Torah, I will believe. Well, guess what? I gave him that genealogy, and he said, that is not how I mean it. There are some people that are so stiff-necked and hating of Jesus Christ that they'll never believe. So I'm asking this podcast girl, because I I just pray for your total healing, 100%, in the name of Jesus, because you need him. You do. I'm not saying there's only one door, meaning... <laughs> I'm going to get in real big trouble for saying something like that. I'm going to tell you the door that I know works in the heaven the one door that i know i use that word i don't use believe i you can believe anything and it can be false i know that the door of jesus leads to heaven 